like kind of like an open question type of video um, about the Detroit Pistons. Appreciate everybody for checking in. Make sure that subscribe button, bell icon button. Won't miss another video, man. Appreciate everybody sharing the videos and you know, you know, joining the community, man. Definitely appreciate it. But I got a question you can answer beforehand or after I get my pen. Um, should the Detroit Pistons have tanked? Do you believe the Pistons should have tanked this season? In my opinion, I was preaching it the whole year. They should have tanked. They should have been bad. They missed out on the draft pick last year. That could have been Gizzly Alexander from the Clippers. Could have been Michael Porter. We know Pistons don't take chances like that. They could have had a good, talented guard or good, talented forward like Gil like uh, Michael Porter, which is clear to play next year. And it seems like his back is pretty good. I seen him do a windmill dunk, and that's what that was one of my favorite players in the draft last year with Luka Doncic as well. Um, and they should have tanked this year because. You know the reason you should tank is because one you don't have you don't have no cap space so you can't go out there and get a premier player. Two historically not putting this on Ed Stefanowski and GM and a uh, and GM and waiting Malik Rose not putting that on them. But you know historically my video coming up Pistons the Pistons suck at the draft. All right they really really suck at the draft. Excuse me they suck. So at the same time you know you don't have cap space you are not good at drafting. All right then what you should do. You know what? We're not going to be a championship team this year. We went to the playoffs to get embarrassed. Nobody wanted to be at that playoff game to see the Pistons get embarrassed. Milwaukee, Detroit, we had no chance. And Boston Celtics had a by far better team than we did. They only got one game. So, you look at the whole situation, they should have tanked. They can be in position to try to hit on the lottery. They was in position. They could have rested Blake the rest of the way. They could have tried to move Drummond, which they did. And Memphis said no. They should have been sellers at the trade deadline. They was trying to be buyers. They should have sold. It's just not good enough to reach the playoffs. That mentality in Detroit, oh, we reached the playoffs. The Lions raise up a banner. That's not the mentality it's built on. I mean, Tigers got World Series, I believe. The Red Wings got multiple championships. The Pistons got multiple championships. That's cool if you're drinking the high Lulu Blue Kool-Aid, if you just want to be subpar or you just want to be just above average. But... People in the city, they getting caught up in this losing, this losing fiasco. Look here, it's a it's a hypothetical that LeBron James, it's a real hypothetical that LeBron James legitimately, he may he may come to the East to Philadelphia. Kevin Durant may come to the East to, to New York. Kyrie may move to New York. Dude, the Pistons ain't gonna be good for another five to six years. They should have a five to six year plan, and it should have started this year. It should have started this year. It should have started with trying to get in the lottery. Hey, if you number one, hey, get Zion and the Pistons on national tip television. If you number two, get John Morant. Perfect person you need. A point guard. He called himself a point guard. Better than Reggie Jackson. He'd probably be the best player on the team other than Blake Griffin right away. Don't get him. Cam Reddish at RJ Barrett. The list goes on and on. Some international player that might bubble that we ain't never heard of until after the draft lottery. Dude, they should have put themselves in position to get a cheap, draftable, draftable contract, a top guy, and they should have built around, built with that guy. If it's not Zion and John Moran, or a guy you don't think you can build around, build with them. If you get a guy you can build around, build around him. It's that point blank and simple. They should have tanked. It, that was pathetic. Anybody thought this team was going to make any moves or win a game in the playoffs. It was just simply pathetic. This, this team, in my opinion... Should have tanked. They should have been sellers. After the, the first half Blake had, they should have traded Blake Griffin. They should be trying to trade Andre Drummond this summer. Tear it down. Have a five to seven year plan. Build up with young guys. Then put veterans around the young guys. Build it like Philly did it. Build it, build it like Phoenix doing. You know, even Minnesota, they still got a dying chance to build something around Carl Anthony Towns. You know, give yourself a chance, you know. To be great, not you, you strapped yourself with all this salary, and, and you can't even have depth because Reggie Jackson, Blake Griffin, Andre Drummond taking all your salary. You still playing Josh Smith about six million. You paying John Lohr a worthless contract. Just cleanse yourself of all the ignorant shit Joe Dumars and Stan Van Gundy, Jordan Bowers did. Just cleanse yourself of it. Tear it down. By the time Boston, Milwaukee, and, and the rest of those teams, maybe the Knicks, Brooklyn, whoever go up, Philly. By the time they trending downwards and they on their way down, the Pistons will be on their way up. That's how it should be. You can't contend with the, with the Eastern Conference, especially after this year. 
You can't contend with that monster in Milwaukee right now. So build towards being a, a young contending team. But you can't tell people in the city now. I've been watching basketball since the 90s, man. I didn't seen them come and I didn't seen them go. The Pistons need to cleanse themselves of the BS and, and rebuild. But, hey, let me hear you guys rebuttal. Don't forget we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can reach out to the email if you have a business question, acquire response, ship, or video request. Keep sharing the videos one time for the one time. It's your boy CJ Goodfellow, Motor City Sports Talk. And um, we gone.